Hello everyone. Welcome today to this tutorial. Well, in this tutorial we're going to just quickly do some video on how to reduce the pant length. Anyway, I just quickly want to say thank you so much for my subscribers, for your comments. I really enjoy you uh, giving comments on my videos and I do appreciate that. Thank you and keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so now I really want to show you quickly what I'm going to do. This is a very beautiful uh, pan. The fabric is nice. The fabric is by Crisco and um, that's some of, uh, let me see for sure. Uh, it's Crisco. And let me see. A polyester. It's polyester and elastic. So this are this is the fabric. So but what happened is that this plant actually the plant body it's a wide legs and you can see it has elastic. And so one thing with this fabric you can even when you sometimes you go to the store you can get this fabric to buy that already have this elastic. So you can buy it in a you can just buy it like that and use it to make your pants or dress or whatever you want to do. However, this you can also make it yourself with elastic. You just sew, sew it around and then you have this effect, okay? But in this case now we are going to talk about the pants length. So when you want to actually reduce the pants length, what you do first, it could be your uh, male pants or your female pants or whatever you want to actually uh, reduce, you measure your length first to see where it is. And also, it is important to wear your pants. If you are reducing it for someone, let the wearer wear it. Perhaps with, I think it's advisable to use your shoe, you put on the shoe and you wear it. And then when you wear it, then you can fold it if the person said you like that length, then you can mark it. And then you take your pan, you come to the bottom line. So when you mark it, then you can uh, measure out the centimeter or the inches that you want to cut off. So in this case, a very uh, simple uh, method we are going to do is just a wide leg pan or parazo pan. So, but we're just going to cut it off. So what you do, you measure you can measure the length and everything and then you just uh, see how it is the difference about like ten and a half centimeter just mark it ten and a half centimeter you mark it that's what I'm doing right now it's ten and a half okay just like that ten and a half just like that so then then the next thing you do is to draw a line just straight ahead. Let's draw a line. Then have this. Okay. So the next thing you do is to cut it off. So now that you have it, you can see. You um hope you guys see what I did. I just roll it around. And so now I decided to use pin to hold the edges together. Because this fabric is polyester and it can easily move around. So I decided to hold it there so that it can be the same when I'm cutting. So I use this um, teeth scissors to actually cut my fabric so that it will not um, lose out. Okay. So, I'm, uh, so I'm cutting it right now. So, so this line that I'm actually cutting, I add um, my sewing around because I'm going to fold it in. Don't fold it very, very small. Okay. So, I in this case you can just go ahead and fold your, uh, fold the, fold it in. But in this case I'm going to go to my um, overlocking machine. I'm going to overlock it around. But if you use this scissor, there's no need for you actually to overlock it. But I'm just going to do it so that I can lock it around because when I'm folding it, I'm not going to fold it like this. So I'm going to do that now and I will show you 
very deep there. Okay. Right, so let me show you. This is it right now. Okay, so I uh, overlock it. So when you when I overlock it, what I did was that I set my overlocking machine on stretchy five, you know, so that uh, if you are if, when you actually overlock it, you can set your machine on stretchy uh, that you want to use stretchy fabric. So the next step I'm going to do now, I could have um, I have other uh, overlocker actually. Now, when you are sewing, you can just sew it round without not um, without not um, cutting. But this same, this overlocker that I use right now, that has that portion doesn't have that portion. So the second one that I have, that one has that portion. But I choose to use this machine because. With this, I did not actually, I, because the um, thread that I have, I didn't have the one that will actually fit this fabric. I have red on the other um, overlocker. But this is fine. This is a bit okay. This is a bit okay, right? So then I will not use, then I will just fold it like this. I will fold it very little, like, um, like, um, I will fold it in like three, like a three centimeter. That's how I will fold it in. All right, so just fold it in, and then when you are folding it in about three centimeter, you make sure, and that is exactly what you are actually going to do. Three centimeter. That is what you take, and then you you just um, just mark it. You just fold it around like that, and after you did that, and then you go into your uh, ironing board and you iron it. The reason of that is that when you iron, and then you already have your marking on those, um, you have your marking there. So in that case, it will be easy for you to actually, um, to actually uh, sew. But you have to be careful when you. Are when you are doing this because this fabric is really really very very light so we don't want to bond our fabric as you know it is um polyester so polyester can easily uh, bond so you have to watch up be very careful you use like one on your ironing function to actually iron it you don't need to do that but the reason why we are doing that is for you to have the marking that you will you will uh, not make a mistake. But like what I'm doing right now, I'm just using my pin to hold it, and you can see with the pin after um, I use my pin, it will not move. So then you just measure it like this. You can see it's exactly. Um, exactly three centimeter okay so that's what you're going to do okay so let me just pin it round that pin it round then we'll just uh then i will just go and sew it round okay so let's see and so when you are doing this process you make sure that the the other leg is also the same you know, because we don't want one leg to be more um, longer than the other. Because this is a really, really a stretchy fabric. This stretchy fabric. So your sewing machine or your overlocker actually have the function to sew stretchy fabric. So that is that. So I think I am. Um, I'm just eyeballing it, but you can just see. You can just you can measure it. You can see just three. So that is it. You can see just three centimeter. Huh? Okay, so let me put my pin there, and I'll show you guys. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, this is gone. Okay. Look at this place. Okay. See. Okay. Okay, you can see it is a uh, pin it round. Sorry, pin it round. So when you go to your sewing machine, um, I mean your ironing board, let me go to my ironing board and do it, and I will show you. Let me just show you that I am back now. Okay, so this is what I did. So you can see, I give it a, a quick press. See, this is a quick press. So now that you press it, it's, there, it's just stuck there. So nothing is moving. So when you remove your pin, you can still see you have the marking. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. You can see you still have that marking. So if your pin is not there, you're still able to know where to sew. You know, so. That is the purpose why you iron your work to have that uh, stable marking, and then it's more easier for you to sew. Then you you can see it easily what you are doing. You can just see it easily. So that is that one. So it is very important that you guys please make sure you iron your work when you are busy. So I'm going to sew my machine now, and I will sew it round, and I will show you guys how it looks like. So I'll be right back. And as I'm back, just, okay, this is the, oh, let me just cut off the excess thread. My scissors. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. So the, let me cut off the excess I'll show you guys. And so the thread, that, the color of the thread that I decided to use, I decided to use black. So that is black is what I have actually. But for the client, she didn't find it um, a big deal because the black is it is been sewn and you can still see, it, but you don't see the you don't see that it's black. They just blend in a little bit. So this dress color is like. The fan is the color is like a purple, purple, blue, purple, something like that. So you can see it looks good. So if I could, if suppose I use the other type of um, overlocker, then I will use um, double, I will use double needle and I'll try to sew here double. So, and that is just like decorative stitch. And in that case, then I don't need to overlock it because it can overlock and at the same time it will sew. But it does not cut. So you can, the machine can cut, but you can actually uh, adjust it so that it will not cut. But that will be next video. I'm going to show you guys ne uh, next time on how that works. But however, this is what I intended to do. Um, I did uh, both both legs so let me call the the thread on this out okay now this is um it's ready you just take the thread out um the pin you can see so when you are trying to be careful so that your the centimeter of the inches that you wanted is what you take off otherwise one leg will be longer than the other so we don't want to have that, do we? So this is a, a really very gorgeous. You know, can see. You know, I decided to choose black because with black thread, black actually go with a lot of things. So you can get away with black. So with this line, this is really very glass. You can see it is beautiful. And make sure the length, as you, if you compare now, you can see that. Um, the length is the same as well. You can see the same. It is the same. Perfect. 
yeah but you see so this is how actually you reduce your your pants leg when it's too it's too long so sometimes you get a beautiful pants that you really like and maybe with price a bit okay you decide to buy it so please go ahead and buy it and then you can reduce it like this you can use this uh, method on any kind of pants it could be denim or uh, men's trousers also but with men's trousers i'm going to definitely do that with the next time because um i feel like this uh, men, men's trousers it is very fancy and you do not want to actually sew it like this just the way i did like this you don't want to do that i said um you can use a hand stitch to actually do it so that the stitches will not be seen that is what i will let you guys see next time but in this case as well you can also think oh i'm not going to sew it i don't really want to sew it i don't want people to see the stitches here but then you can use your hand to actually do the hand sewing and when you do that and then nobody will see the, the stitches but in this case don't really matter the original um the original sewing was having um a, a, a double double needle uh, stitches so now this has um that's no problem doing this right so this is it so when my client to come she's coming tomorrow to come and collect it and then i will see how it feels definitely will be okay because we did the measurements to wear it as i told you earlier you wear it with the shoe that you wanted to use with it and then you can reduce your your palm so if you really want to be measured you can even measure your body so that's how it is one thing i want to tell you guys do not use your existing um pants to reduce your new pants but if you do that it will, most of the time doesn't really work well first of all you have different fabric so normal fabric and stretchy fabric you can't do that you can't it's no go and you know most of the time it will not it will not really work well so it is better for you just to measure your leg put on your shoe measure you wear it and then you can mark it where you want to cut off the essence you want to cut off and so if you do that definitely you will be successful all right so this is it folks so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video if you do enjoy it please give me a thumbs up it's a very simple method on how to reduce your leg pumps and uh, you can share my video to your friends to your family okay and um, you can give a comment if you if you want to do that that is fine if you have any questions you can also do that right so i want to say thank you once more for watching and also um have a very very good day wherever you may be please continue to practice practice make perfect have a good day everyone bye